Representative Niraj Antani is still in a House committee in the State House. Antani says lawmakers are looking to combine that bill with other bills to try to improve school bus safety. Our iTeam coverage continues on our WHIO News app and WHIO.com. There we've posted what the law says about when you can pass a stopped school bus. So much moisture in the air tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah. haze I saw. Yes. Yeah, and because we had some showers that came through, we have this southerly wind, those combinations help to create some patchy fog. And that was to be expected, but that's going to give way later tonight to a more important and potent system that is on the way towards morning. But if you are going to be out for the next couple of hours, perhaps you're someone that works the overnight hours, watch out for these pockets of reduced visibility. Just to give you some perspective, here is a live camera shot up in Troy. It is not overly dense at the Troy Public Square, but again, there will be some isolated areas where visibility comes down rather quickly. We're at 68 degrees right now. We have that southerly wind that has calmed down slightly since earlier on this afternoon, giving us more of that stagnant air. And then look at your dew point 65. Clear indication that fog can form when your temperature and your dew point get this close together. It also tells us when you have a dew point at 65 degrees that the air temperature is not going to fall past that. So it's going to stay mild and muggy through the night. Off to our west, there is a lot of severe weather that is ongoing and has been for hours. Tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings. In fact, southwest Missouri has been hammered with several tornadoes coming through. It is, in fact, the eighth uh, anniversary of the Joplin, Missouri tornado. And there's some perspective. So many tornadoes ongoing just around the city. We're going to keep an eye on that and, of course, have updates on a daybreak edition tomorrow morning and on WHIO.com. But the leading edge of this storm system will weaken as it comes closer to the Miami Valley, but not enough that we go dry into the start of tomorrow. So let's look at Futurecast. There's 2.30 a.m., and you can see that line of showers and thunderstorms off to our north and west. They'll slowly start to push to the east, and around 5 o'clock in the morning, we may see a few of these showers starting to bubble up. Watch what happens as we get close to 6 a.m. Thunderstorms start to make their way into our area, and they'll bring along with them some heavy downpours and gusty winds right during that morning commute. So if you do have to get to work in the morning, maybe you want to give yourself a little extra time to get there on the off chance that there may be some traffic delays. You can also check in with Sergeant Mark Bowen in the morning for any updates on the roadways. Those showers and thunderstorms will still pull to the east, and then by around 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, will go quiet again with some breaks in the clouds. Now, as we head into the afternoon hours, temperatures are going to be heating up, and what will happen is a few isolated showers or storms are going to redevelop in the heat of the day, so we'll keep an eye on that. And when those storms start to bubble up towards the afternoon, we may see some isolated, stronger to damaging wind gusts, some small hail, and perhaps some flooding as well. Tonight, as I mentioned, we're not going to fall too far. We'll only get down to about 67 degrees for an overnight low, and then tomorrow's high, steamy, feeling like the lower 80s with the humidity, perhaps it may feel like the mid-80s, and much like summer with those showers and thunderstorms refiring off. Quiet day for you on Friday, but hot uh, relative to what we should be. We should be in the low 70s for this time of year. Pop-up shower and thunderstorm again Saturday and a chance for storms all the way into early next week with highs hovering around 80 degrees. Tomorrow morning, meteorologist Kirstie Zanzini will be with you at 425 with the latest on those storms coming in for the morning commute. Soon students at two Fairborn schools will have a safe place to go during severe weather. The district is building a new primary and intermediate school. Both have tornado shelters inside. At the primary building, the gym will be a tornado shelter. The walls are lined with steel and are three times thicker than the ones at the current building. The roof will also be made of concrete. It just makes me feel more confident in our school system and sending my, my kids here. The shelter will be able to withstand 250 mile an hour winds and will have room for 1,200 students. The primary building will be open next summer. Bad bacteria was found hiding in a summer camp's water supply. When somebody found it, and now how much it's going to cost the camp to make sure kids do not get sick. Storm Center 7, the fastest weather alerts to keep you safe.